This is Gene Key, KDD News. NewsChannel10.com reports four people involved in a massive drug sting in Borger are sentenced in federal court. The U.S. Attorney's Office says Frank Fernandez, David Escobar, and two others all received sentences by a federal judge Tuesday. Fernandez was sentenced to eight years in prison and ordered the forfeiture of more than $165,000 and a slew of luxury cars. Fernandez will also serve five years on supervised release after his prison term. David Escobar was sentenced to three years probation and a $2,000 fine for his role in a gambling business for Fernandez. Amarillo.com reports police are searching for two men who they say robbed a strip club manager in East Amarillo yesterday. About 2.15 a.m., Amarillo police responded to an armed robbery at Babes, 7901 East Interstate 40. The manager, who had been painting the building, which was closed for the night, as he was leaving, a man approached the manager from a building corner, pushed him to the ground, and pointed a handgun at him. Once the suspect, about 45 years old, had the manager's wallet and a bank bag with an undisclosed amount of cash, he ran into a waiting car. The manager told police one man wore a white jogging suit with a hoodie. Another man drove the car, which was last seen westbound on the Interstate 40 access road. The manager was not injured but was shaken by the incident. Amarillo.com reports a bank and a merchandise supplier alleged in a lawsuit they've been stiffed out of a combined $1.5 million by the Amarillo Petroleum Company that sold off its 63 Taylor Food Marts in January. Taylor Petroleum Companies Incorporated has denied claims Amarillo-based Herring Bank asserted in a lawsuit allegedly the petroleum firm and the affiliate owed unpaid loan balances of more than $1.4 million plus interest. The civil court alleges, if true, shed light on financial situations Taylor Petroleum faced as it moved to divest itself of most, if not all, of its Taylor Food Mart chains in January. Fikes Wholesale, a temple company, announced January 9th it had purchased 63 stores. Terms of the deal was not disclosed. Fikes Wholesale operates an estimated 300 convenience stores, including the Taylor stores, and is not named in either lawsuit against Taylor Petroleum and its affiliates. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.